Today, I made a guide video about equipment display for you. Viewers who are interested in displaying equipment to their characters will find this video helpful. So please watch till the end. First up is the XP32 Maximum Skeleton Special Extended XPMSSE mod. I'll call it XPMSSE for convenience. XPMSSE is simply a comprehensive skeleton mod. The world of Skyrim consists of the visible meshes, the textures that cover them, and the individual skeletons that make up them. Virtually all actors have skeletons, but the player character's vanilla skeletons actually don't have many skeletons. Therefore, XPMSSE sets as many types of humanoid skeletons as possible, so that, for example, a dagger worn on the knee or a one-handed sword mounted on the back can be displayed. This mod comes with ESP, but I deleted ESP and used only the skeleton files in meshes. You can set which animation to use when equipping or unequipping equipment in MCM, but these settings are not very helpful to you when customizing numerous animations yourself. You don't really need to use any of the features in ESP, and if you think ESP will cause useless script errors, it's better to remove it. Simple Dual Sheath mod displays the equipped left hand weapon and two staves to the player NPC. It works with the player and any optionally loaded NPCs, and works with any weapon, vanilla or custom, without the need to create a separate mesh. Existing Skyrim allows you to wield a weapon with your left hand, but does not display this when unarmed. Showing right-handed gear but not left-handed gear is definitely not immersive. So, let's display the left-handed device through the simple dual sheath. Not only that, the simple dual sheath has the great feature of allowing you to display your shield on your back. Features like this can be configured through the INI, and it applies to both players and NPCs, which is what makes this mod so innovative. This plugin is display unequipped gear and custom items on the player or NPCs. It display every piece of equipment on the player or NPCs, one hand, two hand swords and axes, maces, daggers, staves, bows, crossbows, shields and torches. And it displays almost any item found in the game, guitars, potions, scrolls, soul gems, ingredients, and even static objects. If the low has an item, it can be made into a display. The IED mod supports a highly configurable gear positioning system for mounted and displayed gears with conditional offsets to prevent clipping, gaps and weight, armor adjustments individually for each node. Like simple dual sheath, it works with any item with no additional meshes required. Preset import and export allows you to load your settings in one step without losing them when starting a new game. It does not use body slots and SKSC64 plugin. It provides a customizable in-game user interface that lets you configure everything in real-time as you play, and includes a flexible positioning system for both equipped and unequipped gear. The last mod to introduce is the CBPC Equipment Physics SKSC plugin. This mod allows bouncy CBPC physics to equipments. Because physical effects are applied to all types of equipment, the immersion of the game can be greatly increased. But, the physical effects of the equipment may feel too excessive, and this may be far from the heavy feeling of the equipment. However, it is considered to be much more natural than hardened equipment like plastic, and it is a must-have mod that is recommended to be installed whenever possible. So far, we've looked at mods to upgrade equipment display. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. Subscriptions, likes and notification settings are very helpful for channel growth. See you next time.